ride. Happy cow. Hi, my name is Ken Spector with Happy Cow, and I'm here in Berlin, Germany, with Jan. And Jan is the founder of the world's largest vegan grocery chain. It's called Vegans. And uh, hi, Jan. Nice hi. to meet you. What made you want to start a vegan grocery store in Berlin? I'm vegan himself since five years uh -huh. uh, right now, and I decided to found the first store 2009. Uh, really, we are opening our first store 2011 in July. Two years, uh, we had preparation time to find all the products. We are full range supermarket. We have 6,000 vegan products from all over the world. Right now we have more than 260 suppliers from more than 30 countries. What inspired you to go vegan five years ago? It was changing my life. I had a burnout in my job by Mercedes. After that I had to burn out and this changed my life. Uh, completely and uh, became vegan, yes. So the last about two years, I think there have been almost 16 new vegan-only restaurants in Berlin. What happened the, two years ago to create this interest in the vegan lifestyle? Yes, it's very interesting. Uh, not only in, in Berlin, in the other cities of uh, Germany too. Yeah, We have a uh, big uh, moving and, yeah. and changing in the mind about the vegan life. How do you go about buying the products for your store? We have five employees. They're only looking for new products. Every week more than 20 new products yes, uh, yes. we found. You have 80 vegan cheeses? Is this true? More than 80. More than 80, ve yeah. more than 80 vegan cheeses. What are some of your favorite products? Uh, I'm very interested in raw food. Um, My favorite uh, product is the chia seeds. What are some of the challenges in Berlin of having a vegan-only grocery store? No challenge, no. It's, it's easy. What are some of the more interesting questions people have asked you about your store who are not vegan? How can I make the meal for my family? What's a famous cheese? Where are the other vegans located and where do you plan to open up vegans grocery stores? The the first one is in Berlin, Prenzlauer Berg. The second was in Frankfurt. That's the third one. And our next one we will open end of June in Hamburg. Uh, we will open our store in Vienna, yeah. in Prague, Czech Republic. Wow. Uh, and then uh, Munich. Yes. And the last one this year would be in Leipzig. Yes. And next year in Essen, in Köln, uh, London, in Amsterdam, Warsaw. Zurich. Two years from now, you're going to have 20 other stores? Two and a half years. As far as uh, uh, organic or bio, do you hopefully want your store to be organic and vegan eventually? Yes, of course. Not only organic and bio, also fair trade. We are very close to our suppliers and that's very important for yeah. us. Uh, only buy products that are very clean. And I would say the next step after buying bio or organic products would be the packaging. There's so much plastic on all of these shelves. Eventually, wouldn't it be wonderful to have no plastic anymore? Yeah, that's right. But it's it's the next step. Let's go check out some of the wonderful vegan products that you have in the store. Let's go over to the raw food section over here. I see here, uh, what is this? Bio Cocosol. This is a brand I am not familiar with. Coconut. Oil. It's coconut oil. Dr. Gerg, it's a, yeah, it's a famous brand. I see the uh, naked bars. This one, um, it's a raw bar. It's very, very tasty. Let's go to the bulk section now. We have macadamia. So we have yeah, macadamia nuts? And raw, and raw, and yeah. and cashew. Do you want to open up? Let's open up one of these. Yeah, there's some macadamia nuts. And over here, the produce section. All organic. 80% uh, of our goods in our stores are organic. We have dates. We have pears and apples and bananas yeah, and coal. Fresh coconut. That's our gluten-free products. So many people in the last time asking for gluten-free. Vegan and gluten-free. Yeah, that's our sugar alternative. Sugar. We don't like white sugar. Yeah. It's not good for no, healthy. No, no, no. And uh, we are offered this uh, xylit. I don't know. Xyl xylitol. And of course, uh, coconut. Coconut uh, sugar. Rice. Agave, it looks like you have. Tea and uh, yeah. coffee. Matcha. And, uh, yes, I love matcha. It's a tea from Japan. A replacer over here. Yes. Okay. I think Cool. It's from, from States. Yeah. We have our 45 different uh, milk, not only soy, almond, yeah, of course. You have hemp milk, I see good hemp over here. Uh, good hemp. Then cocoa, I've seen. Cocoa, then uh, soy, of course, mm. that's from German, mm. that's from uh, Austria, that's from uh, Switzerland. We have a dinkel, I don't know in English. It's spelt. Spelt. Spelt, yes. Uh, rice. Oat milk. Oat milk, yeah. yeah. Let's just open up the uh, vegan cheese shelf here. Okay. Dea, I'm familiar with. She's I've seen in the United States. Many of these other brands. I just haven't seen. Uh, Switzerland is uh, it's very 
favor this Vigusto. one. Vigusto. I had samples of Vigusto. No it was really Mou. delicious. It's called No Mou. From Vigourmet. From Austria. From Austria. It's from Austria, but the, the cheese is produced in Greece. Oh. Gisina, it's our favorite. That's your, that's your favorite brand? Yeah, this one, this yeah. particular one yeah, with, the, the with the peppers? Yeah, the spice. I see the Buja Buja fudge products, right? Yeah. The delicious Yeah, Buja that's Buja. delicious. Yeah. We have fresh pressed hemp milk. Fresh pre I haven't seen this. What is the brand here? Fresh press. This is Frankenberger. Let's check out the wheat meats and the aceitan wheat and soy as well. It's the Furky, you know, from the States. Best seller. Hobelts. We sell them in six months over 8,000 it's very it tasting very good. It's from Poland. So you have an exorbitant amount of different vegan sauce and many of these brands. It's Vigourmet also. It's many of them. It's Vigourmet, but it's, uh, that's Soyana. It's I see Weedy, which is a German company. Lupin. We have soy based, uh, we have gluten based, yes. so wheat based, and we have lupine based. Lupin is uh, growing here in Germany. So let's go back to the detergent section over here and look at some of these. We have uh, detergents that are all vegan, obviously. And then we have pet food as well. Any? For pets and uh, dogs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, the Amy Dog from Italia. Let's go over the frozen section over here. This is refrigerated, yeah. fantastic foods. An entire cabinet, including a vegan shrimp down here, yeah. vegan yeah. fish. And this is the frozen section. Again, we have a Tofurky Coconut Bliss, Buja Buja. Here we are, the frozen section. It looks like the mob went through this section. It looks like all the products are all over the place. So we have So Delicious brand. What are some of the other brands? Gildo Rochelle? Yeah, that's from uh, Italian. Italian. Then we have Natura Tiva. It's, uh, it's from Italian too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have, uh, coconut this year in Germany. That's a, that's, yeah, that's a big American brand. Yeah. You have a lot of sweets in this store. Yeah. You really do. You have the raw over there, and now here you have the chocolate bars. The chocolate uh, and the Cook uh, cookies. cookies. Let's keep going along. Okay, so here we have some drinks yeah. of some nature. We have uh, just uh, different types raw, of raw food drink. Yeah, it's a chi. Then we have a very high quality drink from from switzerland other side we have more bars yeah more bars yeah the bars over there are raw these are the the cooked versions of, of yeah. the health bars cliff bar i'm very familiar with that's a big united states brand but a lot of these uh, others you know, are the yes food bar, the yes. Cliff bars, yes. and what are some of the other brands we have here it's the oscar it's uh, for kosher kosher, kosher. okay it's Terrific. very important Terrific. the oatmeal oatmeal kids it's organic uh, food bar, you know. Okay, this one. yes, and I'm very familiar with this over oh, here. Yes, yes yeah. those are those are those are uh, Go Max Go brand. Go. Yes, that's a that's a great brand of uh, chocolates from and sweets. Let's go back to the cosmetics. Yeah, it's very important. Yes. Have, uh, food. Uh, so this is an important section, non, as you non say. Non-food, non-food section, uh, okay. uh, non-food products. It's very important for us. This is just an amazing store, and it's uh, it's well laid out. It's very modern looking. It's not like one of the old health food stores that's sort of dark no. and you can't see the products. Yeah. It's very well lit. So we have uh, vi vitamins as well, and we have shampoos and no, sea snacks. Sea snacks, I do know. <laughs> I do know very well. Yeah, we yeah. are the only one that sells sea snacks here in Germany. The most important film is yeah. for us. Is, Forks over knives in English. Right? Forks over knives in English. Wow, look at all these books. Let's uh, let's continue along. So this is the checkout area, and we have uh, more sweets, more impulse purchase items. It's a snack. It's a From Weedy. Weedy. Yeah. Yes, the Weedy Space Bars. Oh, and Vienna. Yes, Vienna is also a great brand of vegan meat. This is called Goodies. We have a bistro, a co coffee shop, and uh, we don't make it. Um, at Weekends. How is Goodies related to you? We are business partners, You're and business partners. Uh, uh, he has some other stores, but they are not vegan. Uh, oh. Not only here, he is vegan. Uh, you have fresh breads, and what do we have over here? We have cookies, a variety of bagel sandwiches. Right? Soups. And I see soft serve ice cream over there. I heard about your yeah, soft serve ice cream. I heard it was amazing. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try it today. Yeah, we were the first one in Europe there of a vegan oh, soft ice cool. cream. Let's come over here and take a look at some of the fresh salads. salads. Christoph, he's the owner of Goodies, correct? Mm -hmm. So I came here last night and he gave me several of these to try. They are so delicious. Yeah, amazing. Cool. And healthy. And that's pretty much your store. Now, what's upstairs? We will build up a restaurant, a vegan restaurant, a new one mm -hmm. with uh, Bjorn Moschinski. It's our... Yeah, it's one of the famous chefs here in, oh, cool. in Germany. What type of vegan cuisine? International? Italian. 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 When and is that going to open? In July, end of July. The second part, upstairs, we will establish a shoe store. Okay. With, uh, Vesu. It's the first vegan shoe store shoe in Berlin. Store. Let's go upstairs. This is where the Italian restaurant is going to be. What is the Italian restaurant going to be called? It's a secret. It's amazing. Wow. It's yeah, look at the amazing space. View. It's huge. Yeah, it's... We have here... 320 square meters. 
Wow, this is a fantastic And space. it will be open till 2 a.m. in the morning. 2 a.m. In this part, so you can have a look, it's a, it's a picture on the wall. The sheer, no? on, on the yeah, left side of you. Yeah. Neat. And what's nice is you're right by a subway stop here, so you're getting an exorbitant amount of foot traffic. We've just arrived at the other vegans. First one. Look, let's go to yeah. Schiefelbeiner Strauße, Schiefelbeiner. the first vegan street in the world. Is that correct? Yeah, it's a vegan avenue called here in Berlin. A yeah. vegan avenue. Let's take a look. Okay, Jan, this is the other Vegans location, yes. correct? Um, and this is on Schiefelbeiner Strauße, which is the, the first vegan avenue in the world. In the world. Did it start with Vegans? Yeah. And it worked down this way to various vegan shops. Yeah. So let's take a walk. The first one over here. Well, that's our show kitchen. Here we have uh, our cooking lecture. And every Sunday we, we offer our brunch. We are preparing right now the brunch okay. for tomorrow. Okay, hello everyone. Preparing brunch. <laughs> Cool. Doing a great job. We are going to the next vegan shop, Dear Goods. Dear Goods. Let's take a look here at Dear Goods. Uh, hello. Oh, so what is your name? I'm Kathy. Hey, but I'm not the owner. You're Kathy, but you're not the owner. Who is the owner of the store? She's not here? It's Nicole. Yeah, she's in oh, Munich. She, oh, she's in Munich. Okay. Uh, these are, let's say, are organic or, yeah. or bio and uh, made of hemp and better materials, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, all these clothes need to be organic. They need to be uh, produced fair okay. and vegan. So no leather, no uh, wool. Okay, cool. Yeah. No leather, no wool. All vegan clothing. Yeah. Let's move on to the next vegan store. A Visu, a vegan shoe. Yeah, the first shoe store here in Berlin. Cool. And Let's the biggest uh, in Germany. Hi, how are you? I'm Ken. Nice to meet you, Thomas. I see a lot of really nice looking vegan shoes. So how did you get started, Thomas? We started with an online store in 2010. Mm -hmm. And it was just an idea. Just three years ago. Three years ago, yes. yes. And you made enough money from your online shoe sales to open up this shoe store? That's right. Yeah. Terrific, terrific. Let's take a look at some of your shoes. Can you show me your vegan hemp shoes? They are vegan hemp shoes. Yes. Okay. Great. Uh, organic hemp material. Okay, cool. And uh, many different colors. Very nice. Very, very tough material, yeah. I see purple ones down there. Purple hemp well, shoes. Yes. And they're organic as well. They're organic. It's organic hemp. Yes. yes. And they're uh, made under fair uh, working conditions. And you have belts also. We have belts, we have uh, insoles. Insoles, cool. We have, uh, uh, cases, yeah. Yeah, let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you have cases. I see a women's and men's shoes. I see the Macbeth brand over there. I'm familiar with that brand. Let me, let's take a look at some brands that maybe we've never heard of in the United States. Do you have any brands maybe from Italy, Ital Italian vegan shoes? Or Yes, of course. Yeah, we have boots. Are those Doc Martens? Those look like Doc Martens. Oh, they are Doc Martens. They're vegan Doc Martens. Doc Martens, cool. yeah. Here are the women's shoes over here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nice women's shoes. Yes. Okay. Vegan women's vegan. shoes. Made in Italia. Let's go over in this section over here, the more dressier shoes. Take a look at these. Look at that. Ooh, there was a pair that was like suede leather. Here we go. Yeah. These are so soft. A French company. You've been open since uh, the physical store. You, you opened your online store in 2010. When, when did this open? In 2011. 11, okay. Yeah. Just a year later. A year later, yes. Yeah, we started uh, next door. Yeah. And after one year, uh, we found out that the store was too small. So we moved oh. into that one ah. and it's bigger. You made enough money selling vegan shoes in a year to open up a physical store. That's a that's a major success story. And where do you plan to open up other other shoe stores? Uh, our first shoe store here, and we are going to open another one in uh, in Warschauer Straße. Okay, great. Uh, next to this vegan store there mm -hmm. and another one in two months in uh, Hamburg. Well, thank you so much for the quick interview and uh, I'm going to go out and uh, check out the street here. It's wonderful. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. very much i really appreciate your time jan yeah yeah, yeah. and we'll uh, we'll talk soon and thank you i'm ken from happy cow this is jan the ceo and founder of vegans the world's largest vegan grocery chain and if you're in berlin or in these various other countries in the next two years come and check them out an amazing store thank you very much bye-bye thank, bye. thank you jan bye-bye
the Healthy Eating and Living Guide. Happy cow.